never could have imagined what we're seeing today. Biblical history is being written as ancient prophecies are being fulfilled. Not of disaster and calamity, but of revival and resurrection. Each day, our team is responding to new Israeli believers who've just awakened to our Messiah. When I hear their stories, I see myself. It's so fresh in my mind. When I discovered Yeshua as a young man, I truly thought I must be the only Jew in Israel that believes in Jesus. Not in my wildest dreams could I have imagined what God would do in my own life and through our ministry. Growing up in this land, I never heard his name, much less the gospel story. Never could I have imagined Jewish Israelis binge watching the gospel, much less reaching over half a million views a month of our gospel films in Israel alone. As I moved my family across the world to attend advanced biblical studies in the United States, how could I know that years later we would be training and discipling over a thousand Jewish and Arab ministry leaders at the only Hebrew-speaking Bible college in the world. And from our ministry to IDF soldiers and young adults discipleship to pro-life and humanitarian aid, what God has done through One for Israel is nothing short of a miracle. But with all that, we feel we're only at the tipping point of what's yet to come. It's not an accident that in this year we received three major prophet scrolls of Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel. These extremely rare scrolls, handwritten in the 1920s, barely escaped the fires of the Holocaust in Poland to meet us here in Israel today. These scrolls contain the promises of God, some that have been fulfilled in our day and some right at our doorstep. As we read of the dry bones in Ezekiel 37 coming together, flesh and bone miraculously assembled in the barren valley, there's a short pause in that recreational event before that great revival powered by the Spirit of God. I believe this scroll is with us today to bear witness of the next step in God's redemption plan. We believe that this awakening we're seeing today is only the beginning and our job is to rise up in these days of opportunity and relative freedom and proclaim the hope of Yeshua to our people in Israel and around the world. Will you stand with us in this task? Will you rise up with us in prayer and partnership to believe in God's promises of redemption and join hand in hand proclaiming the hope of Yeshua and become one for Israel.